go. I'm recording. Testing one, two, three. We're recording. All right. So we got basic training tonight. Try to give you a new perspective on it. I hope you'll enjoy the class. I'm going to pull up our PowerPoint now. Bear with me. All right, as soon as I see uh, our presentation pop up full screen, I'm going to get to going. Lots of people with me tonight. I appreciate our spirit experience members that are here to help me help you all. This is really, uh, it's not church, but we are like a church congregation. We're just an interfaith group, aren't we? We're of all different faiths and backgrounds here trying to get our life back in the name of the Lord. For you new folks, my name's Travis Martin. I've lost over 100 pounds on the program and come off all prescription medications. This program gave me my life back, and it will you too. <laughs> this is where it all starts. There's four phases to our program. Hey, hey, Tim and Amy. Hey, everybody. There's four phases to our program. Phase one is where we teach you basic training. You're basically talking about... Um, you know, a whole foods program. You're talking about, for the most part, the perimeter of the grocery store. And we're gonna teach you how to combine foods in such a way that you target and easily remove unwanted body fat. I lost all of my weight with no exercise. The Bible says, I know you may be a trainer, so I ain't gonna make apologies tonight. Y'all can get on me after the class. Cause I know what I'm talking about, whether anybody thinks of doing that. Bible says bodily exercise profiteth little, but what we need is godliness and righteousness. We need Holy Spirit self-discipline. That, that's more profitable. Um, bodily exercise does profit, but it profits little. I see a lot of people trying to exercise the weight off. You can't do that. You have to eat the weight off. Now, what exercise will do if you nail the nutrition is reshape your body. But when you've got a weight problem, you have to control insulin, which we'll talk about. You got to control insulin. If you don't control insulin through food combining, you can forget it. Your weight loss is most part going to, for the most part, going to be muscle and fluid. And then you got to control those portions. We make all that easy for you. So we can add exercise later. If you're not already exercising, don't. I know that sounds crazy, unless it's walking. Get you get your steps in. That's very important to get your steps in. But beyond that, if you try to take on too many new habits at one time, the devil's laughing at you. Took me years. You know, here was my goal. I wanted to look good in my clothes. Now I want to look good naked. You know, it'll take nutrition, exercise, and supplementation to look good naked. How many of you want to look good naked? Raise your hand. You lie about that. You lie about anything. Hey, Larry. Hey, Abby. I see all kind of people coming in. If I miss you, it's good to have you. So let's let's look good in our clothes by eating right and uh, employing a little Holy Spirit self-discipline. Then later we can add the exercise. Real quick slide here. Who are you? So important. The Bible says, I know, Travis, you harp on this all the time. Got to, y'all, because this is where you're missing it. So, well, some of you that have relapsed, this is where part of where you're missing it. Um, you behave based upon how you see yourself. And as a person thinks in their heart, so it will be. What we think about, what's in our mind all the time, whether positive, whether negative, whether pizza, whether unapproved pizza or whether approved pizza, because we got it all. Whether unapproved ice cream or approved ice cream. Whatever you think about most of the time, you'll act on and you'll become. You take someone, now I'm going to tell it like it is person, you take someone that is a thief, it's because they covet and they think about having something without having to work for it. And they start, they focus on it and want it so bad and they can't get it through hard work and effort, so they steal it. You, you talk about um, committing the act of adultery. Let me, let me tell you what kind of Christian I am. I'll tell you right now, everybody here has committed the act of adultery. According to what Jesus said, if you've ever lusted for anyone in your heart, 
you're guilty of it, right? Can we be a group that tells it like it is? But I'll say this, if you think about another woman or another man long enough and that stays in your brain enough, you'll try to go act out on that and you've not only hurt your own heart, you've hurt the people that you love. So whatever we think about is what we act on. That's going to, how we see ourselves comes from our thoughts. You've got to be the kind of person that thinks this way. I am lean. I am healthy. I am determined. I am disciplined. I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am smart. I am intelligent. I do have time. I do have the resources. I do have the money to shop for better, better foods. God is for me. God is not against me. I am a child of the King. You've got to dwell on these things and you've got to push out negative thoughts about who you are and, and the circumstances in your life, or you're just not going to be successful. You just won't be successful. Work on who you are. Read it before bed. Read it when you get up because the devil has got you tricked and trapped and duped to the point that you've thought so negatively about your circumstances and about yourself for so long, it's just become ingrained in you and become a habit. It'll take a, a, a man. It'll take a woman. It'll take grown people to be able to reverse years and years of thinking about yourself the wrong way. Next, you need a why. Your why has to be greater than temptation if you're going to have success. You need a painful why, and you need a pleasurable why. The pain will be enough to get you started. Talking to my relapse group again, it's starting with me tomorrow night. Only for the relapse people, right? Tomorrow night. It's a secret group. But give you an example. The pain, you say, why did I relapse? Because you were in pain. Why are you coming back to reload after gaining weight back? Because you're in pain again. The pain keeps getting you up and getting you moving. <laughs> pain is good. Pain is a powerful, powerful motivator. When, when the pain of being where you are is greater than the pain of self-discipline that it's going to take to reach your goal, you'll do something about it. Does that make any sense to y'all? Because it's just the facts. It's in every personal development book. It's just the facts. Until the pain of who you are and where you are is greater than the pain of self-discipline, you're going to stay right where you are. But once that pain becomes great, that great, and you think this is a small price to pay to get my life back, you'll get up and get moving but it will not keep you moving. That's why I relapsed. That's why some of you relapse. That's not why some of you can't get started in the first place because you feel like you're going to miss out on too much if you have daily self-discipline as it relates to how you eat. Now, what happens to a lot of folks that do really good in the beginning, the new car smell begins to wear off. The newness of it, the excitement of it wears off. And we get to a point where now it's just something we got to do. And it's like brushing your teeth and putting your underarm deodorant on. You don't get excited about it, but you do it. You think that, that, that your new diet is something that you've got to be excited about, your new lifestyle, excited about it every day. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm excited about the results I get. I'm excited about the results people get. But I ain't so excited about some of the stuff I have to do. I can't tell you that I just get super excited and wet my britches every time I journal, but it's brushing my teeth now. I just have to do it. So the only way that you'll keep moving forward is a prize. There has to be a pleasurable why. Before I go to bed and when I get up, I'm reviewing them. It's even a part of my prayer life. Just like I, when I pray, sometimes I just ain't got a prayer on my lips. And when I pray, I open the Bible to the Psalms, and I'll pray a Psalm. Sometimes I end up singing. I just, I just sing the Psalm, and my prayer's done. Because Jesus said we need to pray our Father which art in heaven. In other words, he already knows what we have need of. So the prayer, if he already knows what I have need of, why I need to pray? Because me praying gets me in the proper state of mind to, to do good and to have good things in my life. So sometimes I pray the Psalms. Sometimes I take my pleasurable and painful why 
And I just, I groaned to the Lord about these things. Lord, help me get away from this pain. Lord, help me to let go of that. Lord, help me to achieve my goals if they're not selfish goals. So that's what you have to do. Hey, Angie. So let me show you. I'm going to be pretty vulnerable tonight. Can I be vulnerable with you? Let me give you just a few pictures that, that, I've, that I have on my board. They're, these are just a few in my, on my board, in my vision tracker. You talk about this keeping you in the game, this keep you in the game. Now, your wine will be different than mine. Don't make fun of my wine. I won't make fun of your wine. So first, I need a pleasurable wine. Here's one of my wines. I have this picture on a bulletin board and pictures like this. I have many in my vision tracker. This program gives me purpose. I get to teach people. I get to, I get to stand in front of people. What an honor. I get to stand in front of them and share my heart with them and help them get their life back. And I owe them. I really feel like I owe them. So every day that I want to, to cheat on the program and have more holidays than I'm supposed to, you know, we call them holidays, then I look at pictures like this because I don't want you folks seeing me digressing. I don't, I, I'm responsible. What about all the people that the Lord's used me? He's used you to help many too. He's helped, he's used me to, he's used this old fool to help a lot of people. And, and you know what? If, what a letdown it'll be to them. They'll forgive me if they're good people, but what a letdown it will be to them after they've gotten halfway to goal and they see me digress back to the beginning. So this is a pleasurable wine. I love to stand up in front of there with confidence knowing I'm living the lifestyle. We got Nancy who cannot hear. Can y'all hear me? Let me know. I'm going to keep going because I don't want to stop. But it sure will help my peace of mind if somebody says that y'all can hear and it's not everybody. Don't know how to help Nancy if it's just her, not during a live broadcast. All right, so I've got my family. I tried to grab some pictures of my kids real quick, but I've got Sasha. I've got my family. The sacrifices of being away from them so much and doing the things that we do to just to keep Shaboleth going, why it's uh, the, the sacrifices, I want them to know there's a payoff. I want them to see what the hard work, what's, what kind of hard work success takes. So I look at my bride. I look at my children. I want to be able to keep doing what I'm doing. I got good reasons, good spiritual reasons, right? I'm into jujitsu. The, be, the, the leaner and stronger and healthier I get, the better I am at that. Makes me feel good. Makes me feel like a man. Want to be in good shape. That's one of my things I love. Then, I, then you got people like Lori Fur that comes by and has won an award for a marathon because she lost weight and worked on her endurance. Those moments, those moments are precious, precious to me. I get to eat good foods. You know, I look at these foods in my vision tracker all the time. I just play it in your website. In the website, you got a vision tracker. You might want to put these in a notebook or something. But I've got a vision tracker, and I press play, and I listen to motivational music that's in the vision tracker. While I'm watching this, it only takes a few minutes. Anytime I'm feeling down, I'm doing my little flashcard thing in front of my mind. That's why in the Bible they had to keep frontlets before their eyes, right? So that the, the commandments was before them all the time, or they'd go astray. They looked to the left, looked to the right, and they couldn't go. They couldn't plow a straight, straight road. So when I'm tempted, I pull out my vision tracker, and I've got my vision tracker, and I'm reminded. I get good foods here, foods that taste great and help me lose weight. Why would I ever want to eat anything that tastes great but causes me to gain weight? I don't understand it. When I see this, I'm like, I get this. Look, the devil dangled to donate. Uh, don't, the devil uh, dangled uh, some restaurant lasagna in front of me. So that's what I'm thinking about, and that's what I'm going to smell, and that's what I'm going to act on. But if you keep this kind of stuff in your mind after a while, you don't even have to look at it all the time. So I'm like, why would I want that? Yeah. A rest, uh, Italian restaurant lasagna tastes great. I can have that. I can make a Chabot proof recipe at home. But here I am in the restaurant. What am I going to get? I'm going to get some salmon and a vegetable. 
eat something that I love that allows me to lose weight. I look at stuff like I can have fruit, I can have yogurt. I'm always flashing up my favorite meals to remind myself, hey, she fire. I'm just going to focus on what I can have, not on what I can't have. And then you got to have your painful wine. This is one of my many painful wives. This is me. See that belly button on that boy? See if that thing could hold five gallons of water. I'd get in the shower when I bent over to try to wash my legs or something. I'd have, I bet I had a gallon of water coming out my belly button. That's pain to me. That's pain. Maybe you got a healthier self-image than, than I did, but you and you're okay with it. But I just wasn't okay with it. I, I Every time that I would eat something I shouldn't, after six holidays, we get six holidays. You shouldn't feel guilty or regretful, you know, if you're having one of your holidays that you've earned. But I'm talking about, boy, when I really, shoot, that was, I, I can't handle it. I was bullied when I was a kid. I was bullied. Therefore, I had no self-respect. I let people bully me. I thought, I didn't think highly of myself and, Therefore, no one else could either. I didn't treat myself good. Therefore, no one else could treat me good. And a lot of it was because I was overweight. Maybe your relationship with being overweight is different than mine was. But this picture is pain to me. And I could go back there like that. I sent a very revealing text just the other day to the relapse group that I put back on after back surgery, ten, uh, eight years ago after back surgery and a um, bankruptcy, losing my family, tough times. I relapsed. I look at pictures like this because I'm not going back. If y'all want to stay where you're at, go for it. If you want to go back to where you came from, because you get tired of being self-disciplined, go for it. I still love you, but I ain't, I ain't doing it. I, I'm not going with you. I ain't hanging around people for too long that's got the mully grubs and pouting all the time. Just not going to do it. You know why I can't stand that? Because that's the way I used to be, and it got me in, in this condition. But now I don't have that pain. I work hard. I work hard. I, I don't mind going somewhere and taking my shirt off. I don't mind dressing up and going out. I just feel good about myself. Why would I ever want to go back to the, I, I don't have a perfect body, but I'm proud of my body because I work so hard for it. Am I making sense to anybody? I work hard. I don't look that way anymore, that, that picture I showed you, and I'm not going back there. I'm not going back. And then medications. I don't want to go back to those, there's another, more pain. I don't want to go back. I have to remind myself from time to time. If I'm not careful, I'll end back, because I'm predisposed to it. I'll back, end, end back up with diabetes, type two diabetes. I'll end up with high blood pressure. I'll end up with acid reflux. Y'all, I can take a week off. I can have six, high, I had uh, acid reflux, worst case you've probably ever seen. Food come up morning till night. For years, no, no, no medication, nothing helped. I had to take a cup around. My food coming up all day. It was awful. Chest always burning. Y'all, I can take six, seven holidays in a row. It'll, I can feel it coming back. I ain't going there. I, don't, I ain't living like that. Life's too short. I don't want none of them. I don't high cholesterol anymore. I don't, I don't want to be on depression medication anymore. And then some people get on to me for having this as my wine. To, to, and some of you may need this. Some of you may need this. this. Who's this? I'm getting to the food part. Y'all stay with me. This is the devil, Lucifer, the prince of the power of the air, the ruler of the darkness of this world. Now, I to keep from um, exposing the guilty, I put this devil picture. But you know what I got in my vision tracker? In my photo album? I got the pictures of the people that stole from me. 
I got the pictures of the people that took advantage of me. I got the pictures of the people that hurt me, that made fun of me and talked to me when I lost everything, talked down to me when I lost everything I had. Had so many people steal from me, you wouldn't even believe because I was naive. I didn't respect myself. Therefore, nobody else could respect me. Even the, some of the people that worked for me back in the day. Thank God I got a good team now. So I got all them in my book because you know what? I read in a worldly carnal book that success is the best revenge. But at the end of the day, I want a godly goal, which is to say, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will prepare you a table before your enemies. So I give it to God. But I need a reminder every once in a while, it ain't that I'm trying to prove all the people that hurt me wrong. I'm going to prove me right. So whatever it takes, and it's different for everybody here. Some people's got a real gentle, kind heart, and you, you just don't feel right to have that righteous indignation like I have, but it's whatever it takes to get you up moving in the right direction. So work on that. These things are important. Some of y'all worried, worried about folks going to hell and you living in hell right now. That's what David said. I made my bed in hell, but God's still with me. You don't have to live like you're living. So come up with that why for me. Watch out for the diet devil. What is a calorie? Calories are just energy. You hear a lot. There's even a new diet out there. Calories in, calories out. It's got some acronym description or whatever. Okay. Well, all calories are not created equal. They're not. That's one of the many things that we do differently here. Uh, we look at the quality of each calorie. We look at its macronutrient profile. Calories are not created equal. If they were created equal, then 200 calories of ice cream would be as good for you as 200 calories of chicken and broccoli. You know better than that, don't you? So any, anytime somebody says all oh, calories are the same, just control your calories. You need, you need no different. You don't have to argue with them, but your heart needs to say, no, nope, them been taught better, better than that, and I got common sense. Yes, it's common sense and it's biology or biochemistry rather. 200 calories of ice cream is the same amount as 200 calories of chicken and broccoli, but you know something different happens in your body when you eat 200 calories of chicken and broccoli versus 200 calories of ice cream. You have to understand that. You have to learn that, then learn how to package it in a lifestyle that makes sense. Now, what we do is make sure, first and foremost, before we control the calories, that we control blood sugar. Because if we control blood sugar, we get to control insulin. We call that the fat bus. The fat bus is as the fat bus does. And it causes three things, even more than this, but we put three because this is basic training. Three things that are detrimental to weight loss. Number one, Travis, why do I have an appetite all the time? Well, you got high levels of insulin, the fat bus running around in your bloodstream. So your appetite's going to be higher. And also, when you have high levels of insulin running through your bloodstream, it's a growth hormone and a fat storage hormone. So if you're eating fat, well, it's going to be even more easily stored because of all that fat bus running around through your bloodstream. We have to control that with the right food combinations. Number three, efficient fat burning stops for up to 48 hours. Just common sense. Just common sense. If, if, fat, if the fat bus is a growth hormone, then your body can't be depleting. It can't be minimizing in size. It's just common sense. So we're going to control the fat bus with the right food combinations. There are four macronutrients. And we, cat we break these down into categories to simplify the program. Now, one of the things, a little disclaimer here, I hear a lot, well, this is not simple. Here's what people mean when they say it's not simple. Can I, is everybody plugged in? Somebody let me know you plugged in. It, the first 10 minutes is long gone, and the last 10, 10 were not there yet. 
So now we're in the meat of it and everybody will start tuning me out. So I want you to shake yourself. I want you to listen to what I got to say. People will say, this is, this is so hard. I see people, they've been hanging around it. They ain't been doing it, but they've been hanging around it for five, six years. I just ain't ready. But people say it's so hard. It takes, it's so hard to learn. What they mean is I couldn't give them a handout and do a one-minute video and be done with it. This ain't the Matrix movie where we can plug into the, the thing and just plug Kung Fu in and know it. You know, I, again, everybody knows I talk about the things I love, and I love jiu-jitsu. took me two years to get my blue belt, and they tell me it'll take me 10 to 15 if I stay injury-free to get a black belt. But I go get beat up almost every day because it's worth it to me. Now, here we are talking about something that will change your life more than anything else other than Jesus and salvation. This, will change your, this is Jesus because Jesus is self-discipline. So, y'all hear that? He is. Fruit of the Spirit. One of them is self-discipline. Jesus is love. Jesus is joy. Y'all would go, yeah, yeah, Brother Travis, he's, you're right. Bible says that Jesus is wonderful counselor, almighty God, Emmanuel, and, and says the fruit of the Spirit of these. So is Jesus love? Y'all go, yep, yep, yep. You know what the fruit of the Spirit is? Love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, meekness, faith, and temperance, self-control. That's self-discipline. His name is self-discipline. So what this is going to take is you and I Submitting ourselves unto the Lord and being willing to learn some information, invest some time in it. It's not a lot of time in, in relationship to the value that you're going to get out of it. We've got to stop. Somebody told me the other day that, and y'all know what, if y'all are on Facebook, you know how much trouble I get in that members only group. I said something, wasn't even talking to the guy. You may be watching, brother, but I wasn't even talking to you. But I didn't know that what I said, you had posted something about. My point being here, sometimes it pricks our heart because Jesus is trying to talk to us. He wants us to have a better life. My Christianity was questioned over the post. It just blows my mind. And all I'm saying is, Talk yourself into it, not out of it. Someone said, I have literally no time. You don't have 10 minutes in your car to listen to daily doses? Sorry, a little jack going on here tonight. I'm sorry. I hope you know you love me. I, I hope you know when I talk to you, this is the voice in my head. I can't help it. This is the voice in my head that's talking to me. This is how I talk to myself. I can't, I have to buffet. Mm. I have to buffet my flesh. The Bible says to buffet your flesh. That means to be rough with it, to put it in subjection to the spirit. It doesn't say to buffet it. I think that's what we have in mind. So there's four micronutrients. Protein, four calories in a gram of protein. Carbohydrate, four calories in a gram of carbohydrate. Fat, nine calories in a gram of fat and water, zero calories in a gram of water. Makes it a good bang for our buck. So when we learn these categories and we combine them right, we're gonna burn mostly fat. We're gonna preserve at maximum amounts of muscle. We'll lose some, because when you're losing weight, you're losing weight, and you're losing it all over. But we're teaching our body through proper macronutrient combining we're teaching our bodies how to target and remove unwanted body fat. See this uh, illustration? Okay, this is about to scale. That's supposed to be five pounds of fat on my left. And it's supposed to be five pounds of muscle on my right. And look at the difference in size. Five pounds of fat takes up more than double the space as the five pounds of muscle. There's 3,500 calories, 17,500 calories stored in five pounds of fat. There's 600, or I should say 3,000 calories stored in five pounds of muscle. So fat is very, it's full of energy. That jiggly, itchy stuff, 
you ain't fat. You just carry around too much energy. And we got to get rid of it. It's got to go. And what I'm teaching you, whether you're in phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, is what changed my life and helped me target easily. Easy. Easy. It's so easy. Target and remove unwanted body fat. I think it's easy when you get to the point you got to have it and you want it. I can, I, I'm sure it's hard when you, you're you like, I don't, I really like a, a good quesadilla unapproved. I really like a good, a big old unapproved quesadilla and about three baskets of chips better than I like the idea of being lean and healthy. Maybe that's the truth that we have to look in the mirror and resign to. Maybe, maybe we just want to go on and deal with the unintended consequences of obesity and have our three baskets of Mexican chips and cheese dip and quesadillas and break bread with everybody else that's got all these obesity-related issues. Maybe we need to resign ourselves to that. Going to get a new body in heaven anyway. So if you can resign yourself to that, Go right ahead. Be my guest. Food categories. Now we take those macronutrients and we're going to take real foods in phase one from the grocery store and put them in the proper category. Now that we've talked about the macronutrients, we need to categorize the foods. Once a food is categorized, then the foods within that category are interchangeable. Yes, some are better than others within a given category, and there are exceptions to all of our rules, but very few exceptions. Stick to the categories and rules in level one, phase one, and you will be successful beyond your wildest dreams. Notice that there were seven categories, plus meal replacements, plus condiments. We're just going to talk about a few tonight because it's all in the daily doses, and we're updating those. Y'all are going to love the updated ones. We've been working around the clock on those things. Category one, lean proteins. This is a short list. Everybody say out loud, this is a short list because it's inevitable that the devil knows you're about to have a breakthrough, so he's sitting on your shoulder going, that's all you can have? No, beloved. This is just a PowerPoint. On the website, there's literally thousands and thousands of foods that are approved. So let's just start with a few. Chicken breast, turkey breast, low-fat cottage cheese, fat-free cottage cheese, Greek plain yogurt, fish, all fish, egg whites, 96% lean ground meat. Now, we'll even tackle a few more at 9 o'clock in the virtual grocery store. Still can't, grocery tour, still can't tackle them all. There's too many. That's why we got that big old website. There's nothing you can't have on our program. You just got to learn how to combine it, when to eat it, how to eat it, and you just lose the weight. I'm going to jump to category four because I'm talking about meats. Category two is not meat. So we got category four, protein plus fat. You can have New York strip, filet mignon. Filet mignon. Whole eggs, 93% lean ground meats, up to 95.9%. Chicken livers, ribs, that's beef and pork ribs, chicken wings. Lord have mercy. Really? Yeah, you can lose weight. One of my favorite things to do in St. Augustine, I like to go to a barbecue place called Mojo's, and I get um, the brisket and a side of collards. It's an appetizer. I'm eating appetizers while everybody else is getting the appetizer and a full-course meal. But I'm just stuffed with just an appetizer of a, a side of collard greens and some brisket. And then I get the vinegar-based barbecue sauce and put on it. Lord, have mercy. It's the right portion, too. I can eat. I just giggle when I'm eating because I'm talking myself into it all the time. I mean, I'm eating like this, and the weight's falling off. Lord, have mercy. We're also going to talk about uh, Category 2, Category 3. We won't get tonight to Category 5, Fruit, Category 6, Superfood, or Category 7, Shellfish. That's on the website, okay? But we have a different type of food pyramid than the food pyramid y'all are accustomed to that the government puts out there. You, and you'll notice on our food pyramid, water is the most important thing, then a one and or a seven, then a category two. And then we work ourselves up. The narrower the pyramid goes, 
the less we should be eating those foods while in the weight loss phase. But you'll notice there's nothing you can't have. Our pyramid is complete. Our pyramid is full. This is a weight loss pyramid. Too many people don't realize situational weight loss. When you listen to that girl that uh, was on The Biggest Loser, I forget her name, the one that's really built. Um, I forget her name. She's really built. And she's telling you to eat apples and peanut butter together. And, and she's telling you to eat all these carbs and such. You better not listen to her. That girl's fit. <laughs> so your situation is not her situation. You don't need to be spiking insulin, whereas she's tore up so much mu uh, muscle tissue in her workout, she needs a little growth hormone. You don't. So we put things together for the situation of weight loss differently. Carbohydrate. You hear a lot about carbohydrate. Four calories per gram, but the four calories per gram in a carbohydrate works different than that that's in protein or, or the nine that are in a gram of fat. But I want you to notice something here. They tell us on nutrition labels that simple carbs are carbohydrate. Sugar, white bread, chips, white pasta, Cokes, white rice. Now we've got void replacements for all of this. But what I want you to note here is this is not food. Y'all have heard of fake news? Huh? There's, there's fake nutritional news these days. Carbs are not created equal. We, we can, you can have carbs. This is not a ketogenic program. You could do it in a ketogenic way, but this is not a ketogenic program. It's unnecessary if you're adopting it as a lifestyle. But, but, uh, but sugar, simple sugars, in the in, uh, not in the right food combination, White bread, two slices of white bread is equivalent to 18 teaspoons of pure sugar. When you eat white bread, it's not like whole grain bread. The wheat's, the germ's gone, the bran's gone. All that's left is old yucky, mushy endosperm that converts to nothing but sugar, elevates your blood sugar so fast that your pancreas dumps a huge load of insulin. And now you got the fat bus running through your bloodstream and you can't lose weight. So we replace white bread with approved Shibboleth approved breads, tons of them. We replace white pasta with approved pastas, tons of them. We replace white rice with quinoa or a quarter cup of long grain brown rice. We replace sugar laden colas. We replace the old chips, Lay's potato chips for bonitos. That's what we're doing here. We're just, we're, we can have anything. You can even eat this junk. This is poison. This is the devil's food. You can even eat this junk. That's right, you can. You can eat it and you'll still lose weight. So let's look at their kin folks. White bread, you got stuff like a Texas toast at your steakhouse. Sugar, you got Reese cups. That's sugar and fat. Chips, you got the Lay's potato chips and Doritos. Cokes, you got a regular Coca-Cola. You got all these things, right? You, you can do that six days a month and still lose weight so fast, it'll knock your socks off. I don't care if you lick the cheese dust off a Dorito or you eat the whole bag. It doesn't matter. It's a holiday. But y'all, you get six holidays a month. You can't tell me. Some of y'all, I just want to grab by the neck right now. I just want to hold you in a jujitsu hold real tight. Not, not choke you out, but just so you can't say nothing. And just talk to you for a little bit. Listen to what I'm saying. You cannot tell me that you want to lose weight but you expect to be able to lose it eating whatever, whenever, and as much as you want. We're saying that 72 days a year, you can take off and eat all this junk. You, you can eat a little or you can hog trough it. If all your other days are still perfect days, you'll lose weight rapidly. And guess what? You'll even enjoy your holidays more because you ain't doing it every day. The stuff that's killing us, we're not even enjoying.
It's just a habit. There are good carbs that you can have once you learn how to combine foods properly. Potatoes, corn, black eyed peas, navy beans, limas, peas, turnips, sweet potatoes, whole wheat bread, whole wheat pasta, long grain brown rice, quinoa, oatmeal, grits, green peas, and more. Tomatoes, onions, carrots, <coughs> so much. But notice up there at the top of my slide, it says slow fat bus. It says slow fat bus. Well, what that's saying to you is if you've got a weight problem or you're wanting to lose fat, this can pose you a problem, but only if it's not in the right food combination. As long as I add the right nutrients to it and control my portion, then these good carbs won't hurt me. They might slow my weight loss a little, but they're not going to slow it a lot. Then you got category two fibrous carbs, broccoli, asparagus, squash, bell peppers, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, green beans, and lettuce. Broccoli is literally exercise on a stalk. Asparagus is elliptical on a stem. And there's tons more where these come from. Just giving you the short list, giving you a little bit of what's behind the program as you learn it. We've even got category two approved breads. There's more than 60. I need to count them because I know it's more than even 60 now. But bran crisp bread, you have that as a freebie. Nature's Own Double Fiber Wheat Bread, 50 calorie per slice. La Tortilla Factory, 50 calorie tortilla. Healthy Life, 50 cal uh, healthy life 35 and 40 calorie bread. Uh, healthy Life Whole Wheat Buns. Healthy Life Hot Dog Buns. I can go on. Uh, Olay Wellness, it's all on the website. Every, everything imaginable. Then we got to learn what we cook with. Some of these foods had their own fats in them. But when we're cooking at home, very important, when we're cooking at home, we need to use approved fats only. Of course, you can use zero calorie cooking sprays, uh, PAM cooking spray, the, the, any zero calorie cooking spray. It's not a fat, but it's allowed. You can cook in fat-free bouillon, chicken bouillon, beef bouillon, and you wouldn't even need a fat. But if you're going to cook and add, because some of the stuff we eat is very lean, like some of the hot dogs that we eat, some of the, the bologna that we eat, it's so lean, it's not as flavorful because it's not, there's not any fat. So we add, back the, we add back good fats, medium chain triglycerides. There's a great video on MCTL on the website that goes in, into it more in depth. But zero, uh, MCTL, coconut oil, ghee butter, hemp oil are approved cooking fats. You can cook these into your foods and that does not alter the category. But if I cook, I can use any other oil too. Even if they're not good for you, you can use them. Whether it's um, olive oil or grapeseed oil or vegetable oil or just butter. Doesn't matter. But it will change the value of the food. In other words, if I take a category one lean protein or I take a category seven shellfish and I cook in butter, other than the approved ghee butter, then I have to now treat that category one and that category seven as a four. Now, that's going to confuse the new people, but what that, that, that's why we give meal plans to start with. Right, so that while you're learning, you know what, because it, it's a little confusing. This is overwhelming if you're, if you're new. But three weeks of dedication, I wish I could learn to speak Spanish in three weeks of dedication. I can't, I've been trying. It'll take longer. But you, three weeks of dedication, fumbling through this, doing your best with it, you'll learn the basics in three weeks, and this will make sense to you. But you can't, if you cook a, a unapproved fat into a one or a seven, you've got to now treat them like a four or anything. It's like a big four fell from the sky onto the plate. I see Roman numerals hovering above my food because I've been doing it so long. So I want you to be aware of that. Now watch what it says at the bottom there. When in doubt and eating out, Treat everything as a category four. 
Now, what that's saying is the restaurant is not going to cook your salmon unless you ask them to dry grill it. They're not going to cook it in MCT oil. They're going to cook it in olive oil or butter. So you got to treat everything at a restaurant like as a four on the plate, which means you can only have a four and a two, basically. There's some exceptions, but. Then you've got condiments, thousands of condiments that are approved to make your food taste better. We go by the condiment rule, five, two, and few, five grams of sugar or less, two grams of fat or less, and few. And you can see a short list here of things that are approved. Just to show you how you can flavor your food, there's thousands of condiments. But A1 steak sauce, butter buds, Dale's marinade, dry ranch dressing mix, fat-free ready whip, fat-free sour cream, Heinz reduced sugar ketchup, Heritage Fair Chicken Wing Sauce, Hershey's Cocoa, Hershey's Sugar-Free Syrup, Kroger Sloppy Joe Mix, Light Miracle Whip, McCormick Salad Toppings, Mustard, Yellow or Spicy, Salsa, Stubbs Original Barbecue Sauce, Sugar-Free Coffee Mate, Sugar-Free Jelly, Sugar-Free Pancake Syrup, Tabasco Sauce, Salad Spritzer, Zero Calorie Spray Butter. It's inevitable that some clean eating person, we value you, but I want to give you a devil sitting on your shoulder. You're going to go, I'm not eating that fat free stuff. Time out. Are you telling me that negligible, literally negligible amounts of fat free sour cream, negligible amounts, because you're using it as a condiment, is worse for you than your medications? Somebody dropped the mic. It's, I mean, we got to look at this thing different. And here's the thing if you believe it is that harmful, which I don't, if you believe it is that harmful, no problem. Just don't just focus on the ones that you can have, right? You've got all kinds of condiments. Then you'll hear about freebies. There are freebies on the program. You can have sugar-free jello, crystal light pops, candy creek lollipops, egg whites, bran crisp with fat-free cheese, and more as a freebie if your mental cravings get the best of you. There are snacks that you can have, hundreds of snacks, if your mental cravings get the best of you. Notice I keep saying if your cravings beat you and still have what we call a perfect day. One tablespoon of peanut butter and bran crisp bread with Walden Farms calorie-free spreads, a half cup of low-fat cottage cheese with powdered ranch dressing and celery, three packages of Help Smart peanut butter patties, tastes like a Reese. One chocolate bar, tastes like a, a Nestle Crunch bar. 13 Benitos, delicious chips. One cup of Sweet Freedom Ice Cream, Blue Bunny brand, delicious ice cream. And many more. Okay, so we've just demonstrated, do y'all agree? We've just demonstrated a partial, not even partial. We, we just demonstrated like a tea tiny, tea tiny amount of foods that are approved on the program to demonstrate there's nothing not on the program. And we got to stop there. That would take 365 days. There's so much on the program you can have. Now we learn, we take all that. that. That would be a diet if we just learned how to partner those foods up. So now we have to learn the rules, the boundaries of the program. We've got the bulletproof shield. The bulletproof shield. This is the way we live our daily lives if we're really, if we buy into this lifestyle. And if you buy in, if you let this be your shield, you take one day at a time and you live by this shield, you get your life back. And it's so easy. The Shibola Shield. The Bulletproof Shield consists of six parts. You drink your water, you journal, you eat in the right food combinations, you portion your meals right, you time your meals right, and you bless the name of the Lord. There's two types of days on the program. There's the perfect day, and there's the holiday slash blow it day. It's a good thing when you've earned the right to have holidays, you get six a month, 72 days a year. If you go beyond that and your goal is weight loss 
That's called a blow it day. You need to call for a May Day and get you some help. We got that right from the Bible. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. We're going to do it right or we're going to do it right. Because if it's a perfect day and you're aware you, you had the perfect day, boom, two perfect days, you're an efficient fat burning. You have a holiday. That's part of the program. Until you have that seventh one, then we got to stop. Dead in our tracks, get some help. Don't let it get to 14, 15, 16. When you get into maintenance, you can have up to 12 holidays a month. That's 144 days off a year. If we can't do that, folks, we don't want it bad enough. Water, it's important to drink. Water in, fat out. Drink a half a gallon to a gallon of water each day. It does so much for your body, it's ridiculous. Helps metabolize fat, removes fat and toxins, improves kidney function. Provides elasticity to the skin. You got a journal. If you bite it, you write it. If you hog it, then you log it. My journal today, online, right? I journal. Don't go in my mouth if it don't go in my, in my app or on the website. It's, I got a journal. For a meal, I had G butter for breakfast. I did not graze between meals. I had a Mighty Muffin for lunch. Sometimes I cook, but I was, I was in a hurry all day to get to y'all. For dinner, before I came over here to do the broadcast, I had turkey tacos. But I didn't have a shell, bread shell, even an approved one. I put it in the hearts of romaine lettuce wraps. And that's it. No grazing. I had breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, dinner for the Holy Spirit. Perfect day. Boom. There's tons of combinations, more than you want to know about. Anytime you're, you're struggling, anytime you're lost, go back to these food combinations. Category one by itself, or category one plus two, or category one plus two plus MCT, or category four plus two. You don't need no MCT with a four and two. You can do it, but you're just adding Still perfect, but you just add an additional calorie. So four and a two, because fours have already got their own fat. Category seven, category seven plus two, or category seven plus two plus MCT. This simplifies your program. You pick something from category one, you pick something from category two, done. You're trying to get your life back. We can learn about corn and taters as we learn the material. And then once we feel comfortable and confident about how to put corn and taters in our mouth, then we can do it. Once we feel confident about the frozen meals that are approved, once we feel confident about the ice cream sprout, then we can do that. But anytime you lost, simplify it down and just eat the right food combinations. It's important for you to see this chart because you're never, ever going to get bored with this program. You've got combinations in the blowtorch column there. Those, those, the blowtorch column of combinations, eating in the right portion, will cause people to think that you're on something. You're losing fat so fast. Then you have the yellow column, more great food combinations. Not quite as fast as the blowtorch ones, but very, very fast. Then you have other great, there's no weight loss that's slow. If you're consistently doing the program, it's all fast. So we have fast, fastest, and blowtorch. So the fast combinations, you got all kind of variety there. But, you know, we don't want to start off talking about uh, category one plus seven plus two plus three. Don't confuse somebody. So stick with your meal plan. Learn those combinations on the previous slide. Play with them. Not play with them. Do them. Eat them. Then start looking at this chart once you start understanding how to combine foods. It's like learning a move in jiu-jitsu. You know, you, you, learn how, you, you learn how to retain somebody in guard. Or you, if you're in somebody's guard, you learn what the guard position is. Then you learn how to pass guard and get into half guard. And then you go to side mount. Then you go to full guard. That's what we're learning. You've got to learn it. And it's a lifestyle. You'll never grow bored with it. I know a lot of the folks that relapsed was because they didn't take the program. They picked up on that they could eat a Quest bar 
two times a day and then eat some chicken and broccoli for dinner and lose a pound a day. And that was fine. Their health improved. Their self-esteem improved. But when they didn't know how to eat out at the Red Lobster and what to get, they started gaining weight back. Learn the program. I hope I don't sound condescending. I'm just trying to go fast, trying to help you. Let me show you how this works. We're getting near the end. I'm on fat. I'm gonna have. To, I'm not gonna get to go through all these slides. One of the uh, some of the feedback I got said if I could just teach it the if I could just be short, to, you know, a minute to two minutes is my attention span, Travis. I'm trying, but it's so hard. It's great information. So food combinations. So I've got my portion control, six to eight inch plate, hand rule, we'll get into portions. And let's say I've got fish and I've got a potato with butter and corn there. So I've got a category one, fish. I've got a potato with butter, that's carbohydrate and fat, that's a no-no. And I've got corn, and I hope not five ears of corn, just pretend that's a quarter cup of corn. So I've got fat lipids. This is being digested and being broken down and I got fat lipids there. And the fat bus is about to get dispatched. What's gonna cause the fat bus to get dispatched? The potato and the corn without that broccoli, without that category two asparagus or squash or salad. So now the fat bus is on the move and it's gonna pick up them fat lipids they go with the fat bus, and guess what? When the fat bus picks up that fat, the fat bus is going to take it and put it somewhere, and it takes it and puts it in our fat cells, and our booty gets bigger. Let's look at another combination. Here I've got spaghetti. This is white pasta. Let's play pretend. They've got white pasta. Mueller's pasta, you got the wrong ground beef and some tomato sauce, and you got white bread. So here comes the fat bus. We got fat lipids from the wrong ground beef. We got our blood sugar going through the roof. The pasta there is about 30 teaspoons of sugar or equivalent to. Fat bus comes along, picks up the fat bus, and guess where it's going to take them? Karen's booty again. That we call her. We call her Karen. No offense if your name's Karen. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna go past this one real quick, just so we can get through this stuff. Because I'm keeping y'all. It's taking a lot longer than I thought. Try to do a good job. You know, I try to do a good job. Now we got a combination where there's almost no fat lipids. We've got fish and broccoli. Let's say it's cooked in MCT oil. I got less fat lipids. Fat bus comes on the scene, get, and it's going to be real slow fat bus because the broccoli is slowing down the fat bus. The broccoli's like uh, speed bumps, and the fat lipids aren't going to get picked up. They're just going to disappear on their own. they got to go away on their own. And now we get a small booty. It's that simple. When you eat in the right food combinations, you get results. Here we've got another one, another good combination. Got category one fish, category two broccoli, category three potato, but this time let's pretend that's ghee butter or zero calorie butter spray. Don't have any real bad fats. Fat bus comes along. What's causing the fat bus to come? The potato, but notice it was real slow because that fish and broccoli was speed bumps. And the fat dissipates as heat, goes away, doesn't get planted in our booty, and we get small booty carrying. That's, that's all we're doing, y'all. Here's that same plate of spaghetti. But this time, I used approved ground meat. I used approved pasta. What does that look like? Let's say I've got Explore Cuisine pasta that you can get at Ingles or from us, if you can't find it, but it's everywhere. So I've got some black bean pasta or mung bean pasta. Travis, ooh, I don't like that. Well, then get carbonata pasta. It tastes like pasta. I prefer the Explore Cuisine because it's clean. But you can get the carbonata. It's going to taste like pasta. But I use 96% lean ground beef or turkey, Hunt's tomato sauce, McCormick sauce mix. And this time, 
I'm not saying that you'll lose weight as fast with the bread, but let's say with my spaghetti, I just got to have bread. You got to have it. The more bread you eat, the quicker you're dead. But anyway, I got to have it. So I have me a piece of toast, double fiber wheat bread toast with a little butter spray on there, and I'll be okay. I'll get good results if I control my portions. But eating in the right, it's probably more than y'all wanted to know, but eating in the right food combination is what gives us the small booty and the right portion. Got to eat in the right portion. Portion control. Men, three meals up to one snack and freebies. Your hands are bigger than a woman's, so you'll be eating more for the most part. Your Shibola success coach may modify this based upon your activity level, but you don't need it because today uh, I rarely eat three meals. Today was an oddity for me. But you can have three meals and up to a snack and freebies. Women, same thing. The, you eat breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, dinner for the Holy Spirit. You only have the snack or the freebie in ex during extreme mental weakness. And if it's an approved snack and approved freebie, it's still a perfect day, but it may not be a weight loss day. It may be a more of a hold the line day. You must eat from a six to eight inch plate or use the two hand rule, hands together over your properly combined meal, not piled up high, no thicker than the thickest part of your hand. Meals are for the metabolism. You get three meals a day. We do not graze. We are not livestock. We are not cattle. We don't need to graze between meals. Again, in the event that you must because you're mentally weak. I'm not just talking to you. There's days I have my peanut butter patties because I'm mentally weak and I don't want to waste a holiday. You can have an approved snack or freebies. Like tonight, I'm going to be mentally weak tonight. I'll go on and tell you. I'm going to have a big bowl of sugar-free Jello as a freebie. Travis, that ain't – why is that mentally weak? Because I'm not – I don't want to be a grazer. Doesn't matter there's no calories in it hardly. I don't want to be a grazer. Daily timing, spread your meals out four to six hours. That, that's basically all you're doing there. Spread those meals out four to six hours. Go to bed on an empty stomach. That means don't have your third meal three hours or less before bedtime. If you get in late and you got to eat the third meal right before bedtime, eat only a category one or a category one and two, and you'll do fine. Two types of days on the program. There's no in-between. A perfect day after two green check marks in your weekly timing chart, the third one will be fire. That means you're in efficient fat burning or a holiday. If you have more than six holidays in a month and you're in a weight loss mode, you'll see the devil face come up in your, your weekly timing chart. It means you need to call for a May Day, the devil's winning. If, you're, if you've got your profile set to maintenance mode, then you won't see the devil face until the 13th holiday. But again, I want to stress, you get 72 holidays each year. I said this in class the other day, and we'll, get, we'll bring our remarks to a close. Watch the daily dose of take test, pass test, earn the badge. You get 72 holidays in a year. If I were hiring you to do a job, and I said, I'm going to give you 72 vacation days that you ain't got to come to work, you jump for joy. That's the way the program works, so jump for joy. But all of the other days have to be perfect days. You can have a perfect day. You can have a perfect day times two. There's more. As you go with us and do some of the challenges, you'll, you'll see some that's perfect day times three. If I have egg whites and hemp flakes, you, would, you couldn't live this way. It wouldn't be a lifestyle. But if I have egg whites and hemp flakes for breakfast, a salad um, with some no better croutons for lunch, and then for dinner I have fish, yellow squash cooked in MCT oil, shoot, that's a perfect day times three right there. Boy. I'm going, it's going to be like taking a blowtorch to butter. My booty's going to melt. My belly button is going to start popping out instead of being sucked in. Good things happen.
But you got to come go with us and learn all that. Any questions or comments? That's my weekly timing chart. I'm going to come out of here because I've went way over. I need to spend a little time with y'all before we go. We got to get ready for a grocery tour, virtual grocery tour. Hey, everybody, what's up? I've missed a lot of stuff, and I can tell there's been a lot, so I'm going to miss something. Let me read some some stuff. I have to be honest, I got distracted and my loss. Will this be on the site? It will be on the site at some point. Sure, sure thing. Can I, it, I mean, I say some point. It takes a lot of processing overnight, the way it uploads, because it's a big video. So, yes, we will. Uh, coffee creamer is approved. If, if you're involved with the program, you'll find tons of coffee creamers that are approved. You only want to use the approved ones. If you haven't signed up for the program, you can go to www.myshibboleth.com and sign up. Be the best investment you ever make. It's very inexpensive. It actually is too inexpensive because it costs us more. Therefore, we have to reach out to people that donate and sponsor just so we can keep doing what we do. It's too inexpensive. It's worth a hundred times more, but we, we want to keep the theme of it ministry first and foremost. If you do sign up, uh, if you're new and you do sign up, make sure you, you put in the little referral box who referred you so that we can reach out to them and bless them for blessing us because this is a real mission for us. Did this help you? Let me know. Y'all know, y'all know that's, that's my tips. If I was you waiter or waitress, I'd be looking for a tip. Won't know what kind of job I done. And the tip is just saying what, what I can do better or if this helped you and then telling other people about it. Thank you. Let me look at Facebook too. I don't want to forget y'all. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Don't forget, 9 o'clock, probably, you probably had enough of me tonight, but at 9 o'clock, I'm going to do my best to get through a grocery tour. I, I can tell by this PowerPoint we will not get through the entire grocery tour. So what we're going to do is next Monday, next Monday at 7 p.m., we'll be, you know, I'm putting out a new schedule every Friday now with, with the class lineup over a 10-day period. Uh, the online class lineup over a 10-day period. And next Monday, I'm going to go on and lock it down because we need some more work. I've I seen some things I can do within these slides to make that more understandable. So 7 o'clock basic training, you need to hear the fundamentals as much as you can. And then we'll finish our grocery tour next Monday at 9 p.m. because we won't get through all of it tonight. We'll get through a lot of it, but not all of it. And then also, my team is watching. So one last thing. Yes, email me if you want in the relapse class, travisjack777 at gmail.com. Email me your relapse story. That's a secret group. We're not putting out links for that group. It's just for people that's relapsed. Um, TravisJack777 at gmail.com. Thank you, Tracy. That's good to hear. means a lot. Uh, but my team is watching, and, and we're, we're all internally uh, trying to make the program better. So I want to ask you a question. If you liked this class, do you want to see the team pick up some of these lessons and teach them in the Dalton Center and Cartersville Center? Yes or no, or do you prefer not? Would you like to have these taught to you in person the way I just taught it? If so, in Cartersville, Brooklyn teaching it and Jason teaching it. If you want that, say yes so I can get that feedback to them and they know to practice this lesson and to perfect this lesson and to do it in person with you guys. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Tracy, Frida. Thank you all. I'd love to come to Canada. If somebody will fly me up there, I'll be there. <laughs> you, find, you find somebody to fly me up there, I'll be there. Yes, Jay. I, now, what knocking? Don't get me wrong now, Melissa. Jason's superb. He's a better teacher than I am. So is Brooklyn. 
everybody's got their, their teacher that they're connected to. I, I get that. But the reason I said that is because not because Jason doesn't do a great job with his topics or I don't do or Brooklyn don't do a great job. The feedback we're getting is that the phase one people need to be in one bucket, phase two in another bucket, so they don't confuse one another. It wouldn't be mandatory, but they don't confuse one another. And people are asking for the topics in advance so that they know what interests them and what doesn't interest them. So just to let you know, it works like this. We tell all of our instructors, if God puts something on your heart, go with it. I don't know if we got any preachers out there, but you'll know what I'm talking about. But sometimes you ain't, you've been working so hard and life's got in the way for Jason, for me, for Brooklyn, and you don't have anything on your heart. It would be nice for them to be able to have something they could just pull off the shelf that they have. Because once you get started in person, it's different than doing it here online. It creates discussion. So that's what we're looking at, is just trying to better it for everybody. Gotcha. I just want to make sure, because sometimes I say something and it comes across and hurts people's feelings when I was really just trying to rush something. Class on minus three weight loss meals. Sure, we can do that. That's, that's good feedback. Tina, I would suggest getting you a mentor appointment trying to get some help. Yeah, I heard Brooklyn's class was awesome. Jason, that's all I hear all the time out of Jason's people is they just love Jason's teaching. And I love Jason's teaching too. He's, he cracks me up and he, I'm always surprised at his knowledge. He's got a lot of knowledge. and He's got knowledge because he applies it. And Brooklyn's really making great strides as a teacher. Now we just all got to help her She's struggling with some of y'all. We got to get her going. But she's a terrific teacher. I get good feedback from everybody that teaches. Yeah, uh, D, I think what we're going to have to do right there is the daily doses. Let me explain what, ha what happens. You got a great point. And we've got, believe it or not, we've got a seven-week phase one curriculum seven weeks but what has happened to us in the past is we start those classes and you have 20 or 30 that come to the class but by the end by the end of the seven class series you've got two or three people and the problem with that is not that it's not good to teach the two or three it's that you only got so many class slots so about the middle of it you know, people are calling, wanting to get in a class, and the next one don't start for weeks. And then they lose interest by the time the next one starts because it's this instant gratification thing. But you do have a good point, and we've done it many times that way, and we still keep trying to think through how to do that so it doesn't hurt us and doesn't hurt our people. But thanks for the feedback. That lets me know to keep trying to problem solve that. Our way of doing that right now is just breaking it down into 10-minute classes the daily doses. Yes, can't sugarcoat it. If you sugarcoated it for me, I'd eat that too. <laughs> right, at, right now, Amanda, we just, I, I, I've seen a lot of feedback. People want Jason's class and uh, Brooklyn's class online. And right now, I, I wished but we just don't have the resources to do it. It's just, we just don't have the resources to do it. You don't, you say it's not, it's so easy. It's not because you got to put up a camera, you got to film that thing. Then you got to process it to YouTube or process it through Ustream. Then you got to get, and it's all the after work that causes the trouble. Uh, one day I hope we've got, you know, like at each center, somebody, that's just their job. I noticed at a church I was at the other day, pastor got done, he went back there, and he told the guy that does his production, here's what I want. Here's how I want you to edit it. Put it on the website. And he was done. Um, unfortunately, it's not that simple for us. Uh, brief, brief introduction to the negative meals. The more negative the number, the better the meal. 
we'll do a class on that soon. The, the more negative the number, it's just a way to help you choose the fastest weight loss options. But fastest don't always mean the best if you don't enjoy it. So negative one is great. Negative two is better than negative one. Negative three is better than negative two. What that is basically tied to the thermic effect of food. Uh, the thermic effect of food, which means the lower the number, negative three being the best, the basically for the most part, we don't, we're running out of time. It requires the body, the body burns a lot of calories breaking that food down. So a lot of its calories are just going to go to uh, help your body digest the very thing that you just consumed. It's like exercise on a plate. So just know for now, since this is basic class, the more negative, the better. Yeah, a lot, a lot of this stuff is answered, but the web, you know, the website is big. Uh, everybody's not taking the time to, to find that stuff or ask where it is. And it's all there. Um, it's all there, but I, I know we live in a fast paced world and, and some, some folks, it's going to be tougher for you to spend time on the website. So we'll do our best. You do your best. We'll do our best and it'll, God will bless. Weekend seminar. I'd like to see that happen for sure. Anybody else? Any other questions, comments? Cause I'm going to have to take a little break for that class. My throat's getting dry. Yeah, you know, we do groups. Somebody's saying come come to Douglasville. There is a class in Douglasville. They were meeting. I don't know if they're meeting anymore. The West Side peeps, I think they're around Douglasville. So you have groups starting everywhere. Um, but we will come or make a way to come and – do a group class, but there has to be enough attendance. There has to be enough attendance. You got 20 or more, we'll find a way to get to you. Just let us know. That's why we do the website, right? Yeah, everybody says, well, I'd rather it be in person. And I, I get that. I do. A lot of people that had rather it be in person, even when we have a center, can't make it to the center because of so many obligations and things they want, they intended on going. We couldn't get there. So you know what? The next best thing is the website because it's always here. Sharon, I feel like you do. It's, it'd be hard for me to make it every week to a class. Uh, the Probably, Liz, the best thing to do is to email info because these groups start without us even knowing they started a lot of times. And then we find out about it, and then we make take a note of it. Info at myshabolt.com. Just send that, send that request in, and Sasha and the support team will get the information to you about outside groups, accountability support groups um, that she knows about, that she knows about. I know there's one in Ringgold, one in Douglasville. We're working on – trying to get all that on the website so everybody knows, but some of these groups are inclusive, you know, that not they're I should say exclusive, right? They started and they want to keep it just them. We got to figure out, we got to make a way for them to go on our website and set up their group and their type of group and let us know if anybody's invited. So, you know, I think what y'all are looking for is support groups and you can start a support group too. We'll help you do it. If you'll just let us know in advance what you're going to do, where you're going to do it, we'll support you. We'll even support you with materials. Well, not physical materials, but uh, an outline of how to conduct an accountability support group. But we need leaders. There's only a few of us on this team. We need leaders. We need God to send workers into the vineyard. Thanks, guys. Anybody else? All right. Well, I love you guys. I hope you got something out of the class tonight. Keep the feedback coming. We will continually try to improve the program for you until everybody with a 
willing and wanting heart and a reasonable mind and a reasonable heart has lost the weight and kept it off. Love you guys. See some of you at nine, all right? This will this this recording's ending. We'll get it on the website as soon as it processes. Talk to you later. Thanks for registering in Zoom. That, that allows me to send you this video through email. Please don't give our materials out. It hurts the program, hurts the company, keeps it hurts our members. Uh, only way I would say that you give our materials out is if the Lord tells you somebody needs it and you know it's the Lord speaking to you. That way when I call you and I say, what do you mean giving our materials out, giving your login out? You say, well, the Lord led me. And I'll go, okay, well, if that's good, good enough for you, it's good enough for me. I trust you. I trust our family. Trust our family. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.